What is up everybody? Welcome. You're here with Brothers Forge Gaming and today we're gonna be reviewing, that's right, Mortal Kombat! Oh yeah, the original. Now of course we have the, you know, the new Mortal Kombat coming out, what, 30 years later or whatever it is. Dating me maybe 20 years, I don't know. Anyway, much, much down the road. Um, we actually have the original on this. is actually a cool disc. We'll talk about it. Uh, there's the original theatrical trailer for Mortal Kombat on the, on this disc. So uh, just posted that if you want to check that out, as well as some uh, cool stuff from Sega CD. Easy post a little earlier. Uh, so if you guys want, make sure to check that out. Um, and uh, we're going to be doing a review of the new Mortal Kombat movie. Um, I'm going to be able to watch it tonight at midnight on HBO Max. Going to check that out and try to put together, see what I can, see what I can put together, and see what they'll let me, uh, you know, put out. So. If you want to check that out, you want to get our thoughts, opinions on that, or just see some of the cool exclusive content, make sure to check on back for that. But yes, today we're going to be talking about Mortal Kombat. Now what's cool about this is it has Mortal Kombat 1, it has Mortal Kombat Annihilation, which uh, it received, it wasn't as well received as the first Mortal Kombat. Um, Mortal Kombat was kind of an anomaly video game movie that actually did well and people really liked. Um, even though video games at the time, you know, were still... Uh, kind of not a mainstream thing, but this movie caught mainstream appeal and uh, but you know the sequel I think really hurt it because they didn't have most of the original cast. I think Luke Kane was the only guy um, And just some little things just with the story just didn't feel as right just the way they put it together It just didn't feel as right. So, you know, maybe we'll take a look at that. We'll do a review on that one as well um, But something I didn't know was on here um, Apparently there was supposed to be some kind of show called Mortal Kombat Legacy I think it was like a Showtime or HBO thing. Maybe Maybe Cinemax. I don't know anyway um, it has some footage from there, kind of like some interesting different things on there. Uh, so this is a pretty cool DVD you can find. Um, I found this actually at Walmart in their bargain bin. I think I got all this on DVD for like nothing. Totally cool, right? So always, you know, if you're shopping around, if you're at Walmart, make sure to check their DVDs every now and again. Sometimes you'll find some cool stuff. Um, of course, I got the Mortal Kombat soundtrack. This thing has so much good stuff on it. I bought this from... Um, what was that record store like Capitol or some big tower records or some big chain that I don't normally shop at um, and paid I think like $20 for this back in the 90s which was crazy for a CD right but yeah, pretty cool to still have that to this day that thing has traveled with me um, it has the song you want on it you know I actually remember buying that and being a little bit disappointed because I just wanted the one song but as a kid you're not really into some of this other crazy stuff on here but we have a I don't know if you guys remember Tracy Lords she was kind of like a um, adult star at the time but apparently she also sang so she's got a song on here uh, but yeah there's also just some other kind of like random techno songs on here that I appreciate more now today um, than I did back then I don't know how well you can see that but all right so yeah as we go through this you know I'll be showing you some content somewhere around there uh, as well just some of the different stuff from this movie and talk about that now originally like I said as a video gamer um, back this is one of the first movies and of course you had like turtles and some of those ones that were coming out um, when we were kids and stuff, but this was kind of like the first more adult video game that we liked to play. I believe this was before Resident Evil and some of those Silent Hills and stuff, so as, as kind of like a teen growing up adult, kind of like turning into an adult gamer, this was like, oh, this was hitting right at home. So this thing was really cool. Um, you know, kids were skipping school to go watch this. I mean, hey, we don't recommend that, right? <laughs> Stay in school. Um, but, uh, you know, we were we were making some maybe not so good choices to go watch this movie um, numerous times. We were super excited about this. Everybody just remembers that Mortal Kombat. You say that to anybody that, that grew up in this time, they'll know what you're talking about. You might freak other people out. Recently, it was uh, Ford 1A, right? So we did a survey that was, you know, what are some of your favorite characters? activities to do while you're relaxed and having a good time, right? Uh, one of the options was video games and, you know, watching a movie or show. Both of them were about the same neck and neck kind of, you know, survey. I think video games won it out, but uh, one of our favorite things to do, you know, is relax and play video games or watch a movie. That's so much fun. We love doing that around here. Um, and something I found, if you guys have seen this movie, it is an excellent movie if you're into comedies. It's kind of a stoner movie, but uh, watching it now, it's, it's a little rough. But back in the day, man, we loved this thing, so check this out. Jay and Silent Bob, Snoochie Boochies, right here. <laughs> so if you've seen that movie, it's actually pretty fun. So if you're like me and you like to partake in some of the cannabis, uh, this is like a CBD high thing. So for, for me, it helps with uh, you know some of the day-to-day -day aches and pains of being a grown man. <laughs> and uh, also, it, it gives you a little bit of that stress relief. So uh, we don't necessarily condone or, or 
you know, promote the use of illicit substances or anything like that, but this is pretty mellow. Um, it's a flower too as well. I know edibles, uh, I, I don't take the edibles as well. I like the flower, we're, you know, we're old school in a lot of ways around here, especially the way we, uh, you know, <laughs> like to uh, take our medicine. So we're, we're old school that way, it's awesome. It's actually pretty hard to find, um, but that's higher in the CBD, so that does help more. Um, you do need a little bit of the THC, the, the way they interact together uh, is, is how it, you know, benefits the most from it. So for me, that's the way to go. Very cool to be able to find that, and uh, you know, obviously you're you're paying a little more for the name, but I thought that was cool. I'll probably keep this box, Jay and Silent Bob, right on there, Snoochie Boochies. <laughs> Super excited. So yeah, I'm gonna enjoy that and uh, enjoy the new Mortal Kombat movie. I can't wait. So cool. But yeah, what we're talking about now, um, some of the um, some of just the characters in the original Mortal Kombat. It's so good. That's why I like to see this new movie. It looks like it's basically a reboot of the series. Um, with modern stuff and it's actually carrying that R rating so that's very cool too the old one you know PG-13 so I believe both of them were PG-13 um, and then of course the special effects weren't as good in the old movie but I like that I am I'm kind of the person who would like to maybe see like puppets or you know I'd rather see puppets than like CGI or really good special effects like gory white you know like uh, makeup and stuff um, I'm that old class that likes that but I do enjoy you know, modern movies and stuff. Very good. Um, so, you know, while we're talking about it in those original characters, this is my original game. I actually lost the box. I was able to find it. But here we go. Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Somebody wrote on their Blood Edition. Uh, so there is a Blood Code. Uh, if you want to play the Super Nintendo version, um, whereas on the Sega Genesis, they, you know, it's outright out of the box with that Blood in the game. I actually think you could put the Blood Code in the Sega Genesis to get more blood or something like that. Like a more Blood Code. Um, that might not have been the first one. They may have done that in the second one. So I, it's been so long, but you know, back in the day, we, we knew more about that. But yeah, very cool. Mortal Kombat, the original, the classic arcade game we all loved. Brought it home on the Super Nintendo, and at the time, you know, uh, I had a Sega and a Super, but mostly we were we were getting Super stuff. So this, when we brought it home, and it was like sweat instead of blood. Everybody was like super disappointed, and then you found out there was the blood cut, and you're like, hell yeah, I can play Mortal Kombat on the Super Nintendo. Um, so yeah, say what you will, it's a preference thing if you like Super, if you like Sega. Uh, typically I tend to like Super Nintendo for certain things and Sega for the other. So, uh, you know, either way, I actually think Mortal Kombat's a better game on the Super. Uh, I could be wrong. Um, so it is cool to, to be able to play that. Um, so yeah, look for us to be playing some of those games. And also, um, another one of the ones I have, I have the Mortal Kombat uh, Ultimate Edition as well for Sega Genesis. I found that for a screaming deal. Um, but yeah, this is just some of the swag I could pull out. Right here, Mortal Kombat. Right here, Mortal Kombat Trilogy on the PlayStation. This thing is cool. Let's let's just get into this a little bit. There is 32 immediately playable characters plus four classic characters, um, and so it's just kind of like a combination of the the previous three games with the different fighters and all the stuff. So this is probably a lot like the Ultimate Edition in some ways, but you get it on the more modern console, PlayStation One. I think you can get this on like Saturn and maybe Dreamcast and stuff too. Um, so yeah, that's just some swag for us. But yeah, who could forget those original iconic characters such as Sub-Zero, Scorpion, Johnny Cage, Liu Kang, Sonya Blade, uh, you know, had Kano, you know, had Goro, of course, some of the higher end, you know, Shao Tsung, Shang Tsung, uh, Shao Kahn, some of the, you know, the higher end enemies as you go. Of course, test your mind. Psh! That original multiplayer, you know, the pit, psh, the original fighting game that just took everybody by storm with the kind of like realistic graphics, the blood, the fatalities, you know, just the awesome stuff. And when they brought that to the screen for us and just really brought that to life, it was such a cool time, such a fun experience. Um, if you guys have not seen the original movie, make sure to check it out. The, the new movie's coming out tomorrow. Um, so whether or not, you know, you're somebody who enjoys old cinema or maybe you have to like muddle through it, maybe check it out. Out, even if you're not somebody who likes old cinema just to see kind of like the differences because it looks it's a very similar just a huge upgrade um, you know so a lot of what we're seeing that with that is in gaming as well you see games getting rebooted remade uh, and, and brought to a new generation of, of gamers and, and people to enjoy uh, that maybe wouldn't otherwise enjoy some of what we consider classics right so uh, <laughs> But yeah, check it out if you know if you really enjoy the new movie and you and you want to maybe get more, you want to add more to your palette. There's the old movie, um, Deception as well. So the sequel uh, to the original Mortal Kombat is, you know, like I said, it was thought of as kind of not a good movie, but it is good uh, in a lot of ways. It's, it's different. It's cool to have both. Um, 
It's definitely not the original one, the, the, the original classic, but the content is there. It's fun. It's a cool movie. And it's Mortal Kombat! But yeah, we are so excited to see the new Mortal Kombat. It's dropping tonight at midnight. I'm going to be up. I'm going to stay up. And I, you know, I'm going to watch it and I'm going to bring that review to you guys if you want to check it out. You know everybody's going to want to go see it anyway. But you can check it out here first. Some, some Whatever they're going to let me bring you here on Brothers Forge Gaming. Make sure to check out original Mortal Kombat if you haven't seen it. It's so good. And you know, play the games. Have fun. There's an anime. Uh, there's some stuff on HBO Max if you haven't. Something called Scorpion's Revenge in anime. Um, I, there's a survey coming out tomorrow that's going to have the five movies, the five actual movies, two animated and three, the three actual live action and the two animated movies. We're going to have, a, you know, say which one is your best. We're ranking those in our survey. So make sure to check that out. Watch all the Mortal Kombat stuff. Uh, I also believe there was a cartoon or an animated series from the 90s that's pretty good. We've been trying to get our hands on it so we can do it, you know, on our uh, Saturday morning cartoons. We thought that'd be pretty fun. <laughs> so, or even just to watch it. So yeah, guys, thanks for hanging out. You've been here with Brothers Forge Gaming. If you're looking for a really fun, classic, video game related movie experience the original mortal kombat you gotta check it out and like i said look for some of those differences in in just something like the special effects you're going to see then and the special effects you're going to see now. um it's really it's wild uh, yeah i can't wait to see the new one it's going to be awesome all right guys see you next time